Hey guys, this is Jay here and welcome back to my YouTube video. So, Apple has recently released the latest version of iOS 18 and the good news is, this version is 100% compatible with the latest Polara jailbreak. So today we'll learn how to jailbreak iOS 18 and install cool tweaks like installing a bridge tweak to enable opening and playing any app on your car like this or getting a very cool theme for your iOS device that can easily beat the stock dark icons of iOS 18. So let me first show you the current iOS version installed in my iPhone. As you guys can see, it's the latest version of iOS 18. Now open up Safari browser and visit this link, pelarajb.com. I'll add this link in the description, tag comment and over this video screen for you. So this is how the new Pelara web jailbreak tool looks like. Here you can see it has automatically detected the iOS version of my iPhone. So go ahead and click this jailbreak button. It will then start initiating the jailbreak process. Alright guys, the jailbreaking has begun. Just give it some time and do not close the app. There you go, the jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me the option to install Cilio. Don't worry, Cilio has all the tweaks just like Cydia and it has more advanced UI too. There it is, Cilio is now downloading on my iPhone. Alright, the Cilio app has been successfully installed, there you go. I now have a fully working Cilio app on my iOS 18 device. On the featured screen you'll see all the top tweaks although most of them are paid ones. But don't worry, there are tons of free tweaks too. Let me show you something cool that you can get for free. Here I'm going to install this bridge app for car. It allows you to open any app in your Apple CarPlay and as you know, currently you have very limited access to apps on your car, but with this tweak, you can run any app you want. You can even watch YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. To install the tweak, click on this Get button and then go ahead and click on this Confirm button to start downloading the tweak. Just give it a moment to get the tweak downloaded. Alright guys, the tweak has been downloaded and now you need to respring your device once by clicking on this Respring button. Alright, just give it a moment to complete the respring process. There it is! The respring process is completed! Alright guys, to toggle any of the apps installed on your mobile to be shown in your car, you need to go to settings. Then scroll down until you find this bridge option. Here, choose this bridged application and enable this toggle for any app you want on your car. Now, let's get into my car and see it working live! Alright guys, we are getting into my car now with my iPhone connected to it. As you can see here, I have YouTube and Netflix here on my screen. You can actually open these apps too. This is really cool guys, if you want, you can even mirror your device and play any apps or games directly from your mobile. To do this, just swap here and open up the Portal app. Here, you can see my mobile is now being displayed. You can open any app on your mobile now and it will be displayed on your car's screen. You can even operate the app from your car's screen. This is really cool guys, I think you're going to enjoy it and you're going to be able to use all your favorite apps on your car's screen. Alright guys, let me go ahead and show you one more cool tweak. I'll install a theme called Bobo Dark. It is a dark design based icons, handcrafted with iPhone style. I know you guys are already fed up with the same limited style of icon customization with iOS 18. But with this theme, you can get a completely new feel of dark icons. This theme includes 200 plus dark icons which are also continuing to update by the developers for free. Just give it a moment to get it downloaded. Alright guys, the theme has been downloaded. Now you need to apply this theme to your device. To do this, go to settings, then scroll down and find this snowboard option. Here click on this select theme menu item and here you should see our downloaded Bobo Dark theme option. All you have to do now is just click on this enable button and then choose apply changes. Now, just go back to home screen to see the magic. There it is. The theme has been applied successfully and it looks really cool. At least better than those sloppy iOS 18 start icons. Anyway, if you want to go back to regular iOS style icons, just reopen the snowboard menu and then disable and apply the changes. So guys, this is how you can easily jailbreak iOS 18 without any need of PC or computer. If you face any issues, just comment below and I'll help you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel first. Thanks for watching.